Okay, Allison, uh huh. We're gonna try this one more time. Okay. This is not a Zoom call, this is a real life meeting. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Uh huh, okay. Think you can do it? Yes, I am so ready. Okay. So ready. Yes, awesome. Uh huh. So just remember. Just one more time. Uh huh. This is a meeting with real people in person, mm -hmm. not a Zoom call. Yes, not a Zoom call. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good job. Okay. okay. All right. Well, everyone, welcome to the meeting. It's really good to see you all again. It's been a very hard couple of months, but we totally got there. Um, we have a lot of cool, exciting things planned since Montana's opening back up. Why? Yeah. What What are you doing, Allison? Well, my office chair is getting just really uncomfy and I just wanted to lay on my bed. And so it's okay though, because no one can see me. We're on screen share. All you can see is charts. So we're fine. Nobody knows I'm laying down. Allison. Yes. Remember. Yeah. This is the meeting. Uh-huh. In real life. Oh. Uh -huh. You are with people. Oh, okay, yes. Okay? Yep, uh-huh. All right. All right. You can't get in your bed. All right. Okay. Let's try this again. All right. One more time. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome back, everyone. We're really excited to see all of your faces here in person and mm -hmm. not on a computer. It's uh -huh. really good to see everyone. We can actually get things started. So we have a lot of cool things started. Um, in yeah. the works this month. Uh, right. I know that VBS is coming up. It's going to be totally. online still, totally. but it's going to be great. Allison? Yeah. Where the heck are you going? I needed to grab something, but no one can. We're all in different rooms, so it's fine. Nobody actually knows that I'm gone. Allison, it's okay. Get back here. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. You know? I think we're all just a little too tired and overwhelmed right now. So maybe we'll take a break and come back to this later. Yeah, I think you're right, Sarah. I don't really think we've taken a lot of time for ourselves lately, just to like, you know, take a deep breath, slow down and just be with God. Yeah, but how do you think we could do that? Well, I think everyone has different ways to be with God. I know Reverend Eric really likes to ride his bike. Other people like to be in nature in different ways. And some people just like to sit down with a good book. Yeah. Well, maybe we could read a book right now. That is a great idea. And I have just the book for us. It gives us some tips and tricks to just take a deep breath and slow down and be in the moment with God. It focuses on mindfulness practices. It's called, What Does It Mean to Be Present? Okay, great. Let me get ready first. What? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what are you doing? I have PJs on. You've had PJs on this whole time? Yeah, I always wear PJs under my clothes, don't you? Anyways, it's not that weird. Let's get started. Okay. What does it mean to be present? Does it mean showing up in class? No. Does it mean sharing something at show and tell? No. Does it mean wrapping yourself up? No. Being present means listening carefully when other people are speaking. Noticing when someone needs help and taking the time to give them the help that they need. Focusing on what's happening now instead of thinking about what's next. Appreciating what you have, even if someone else has something better. Waiting patiently for your turn. Treating each new experience as an opportunity and understanding that making mistakes is how we learn and grow. Being grateful for your family and friends and telling them so. 
savoring each bite of your delicious food, cuddling with your puppy and enjoying how soft and wiggly he feels, enjoying the warmth of the sun and the sound of the rain, feeling the sand between your toes, watching the rolling waves, smelling the briny seaweed, listening to the cawing seagulls and tasting the ocean's salty spray, allowing the rhythm of your breath in and out and in and out to make you feel peaceful. Closing your eyes and being still enough to hear your inner voice. Being present means living in the moment. It means realizing that tomorrow is a mystery and today is a gift. And that's why we call it the present. So tell your friends what it means to be present and spread the word. When we're all present, life can be richer, fuller, and happier. Sarah, Sarah, wake up. We're, we're live, Sarah, Sarah. Oh. Sarah, it, it's like church, like right now. Oh no, it's, yeah, I gotta get to got, work. Yeah, you do. Bye, Allison. Yeah, bye.